Okay, we have another thread up unboxing. I think this one is the name brand handbags, which was the same box that I opened just recently and it was really good. So I'm excited for this one. We're gonna see what's in here. If you are new here, my name's Heather and I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms. I do these mystery unboxings every Sunday. Hit the bell next to it, that way you get notifications every time I put out a new video. I'm gonna turn off my text sound. Okay, so these are five handbags for $100. Um, I think it usually has one accessory, so that sometimes is like a wallet. That's normally actually what it is, but it can be jewelry or other things. I'm gonna give you guys a top look. My last box, my favorite thing was the Tory Burch tote. I'm super excited, I think. I didn't actually, it's not live listed yet, but it's in my eBay draft, so it's probably gonna go live pretty soon. Here's a top look of this box. So I'm going to go through. If you see anything you're interested in, please feel free to message me on Instagram. I am going to be on vacation from the 15th through the 22nd. Um, so I mean, I might still reply to messages, but I'm not gonna be home where I can ship out any packages or anything like that. So let's just get right into this bag. The first item we have is this Kate Spade purse. It is black, like a soft pebbled leather with the gold writing. I'm assuming there was supposed to be a crossbody strap right here. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not, because there's also something that attaches right there. Maybe this is just how it is. It's just a top handle. I actually like this style. Some of them I've gotten have been like, oh, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so let me see. Let me put these on. I'm assuming they just go right over there. So it has gold hardware. It does look like it's in good condition. The strap, the crossbody strap is adjustable. The bottom looks really good. The corners look good. So I don't know the style of this. If you guys know of this style, please let me know. I really like that it came with a crossbody. It has a black interior and that looks very clean as well. So I'm excited about that. Here is the Kate Spade little like tag on the inside. And then here is the like little paper tag and it should say like leather on here or something, 100% cow leather. So that's my first bag, which is pretty nice, I think. It's in really good condition. I like that it's like a classic black one because I feel like that goes with everything. Okay, next, which you guys saw is this vintage Dooney and Burke, which is also great. This looks to be black and brown. I was trying to figure out if it was navy blue, but I think it's black and brown. Um, it opens up just like that, but let me look at the outside first. It does have like a little bag charm with a little duck right there. Um, Dooney and Burke on here. There is a mark right here, but I feel like I could possibly just like wipe that off. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can get that off. This is a pocket, I think. But I'm like, that's not a snap. It's almost like a button that is, I'm not gonna mess that right now. Okay, so let's look at the inside. It's kind of like a suede interior um, with the brown pockets here and it has the, here's the thing you wanna be looking for to authenticate Dooney and Burke, this little like red, white, and blue tag. And then I think there's usually a number, yeah, on the back. So sometimes I think that may be the style number that I can look things up. So I will definitely do that. We have a Band-Aid in the purse, so bonus. I was really hoping it would be money. And then there's some other trash, a banded wrapper. Maybe this person got hurt. <laughs> anyway, that's in really nice condition. So another good bag. I'm hoping I could get at least 50 for this, but possibly more. I will try to look up the style again. If you know, please comment down below and you can help me out. Okay. Let's get out the accessory. This is a Michael Kors little blue wallet. It's super cute. It's like a pebbled leather. It has a clear ID holder in the back. Um, it just opens up like this, but it looks like there's a little keychain uh, handle or strap, beige, spell out interior and a coin purse area, another pocket in the front. This is a nice condition. I don't probably won't be able to get much for this, maybe 25 to $30 but I'm glad it's at least in good condition because some of my get are like trashed. So that's good. Okay, next I think is a Michael Kors. It's kind of almost looks like a little padlock like thing up here. This is like a gray, um, yeah, gray I think leather. It has Michael Kors spell out on here and it looks like a little key. 
Maybe it's a key for the lock. Wow. Well, obviously. Okay, here we go. That's definitely what it is. It's the little key for the lock. Like, okay, does it actually work? Oh my gosh, I think it does. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, is that all just for looks though? Because even if you have it locked, you can still get in the purse. Okay, I gotta put this back on. That is kind of funny to me. I've never seen that. Um, okay, we're gonna put the key away. So silver studding all over the front, kind of like a diamond, almost quilted style, but it's not quilted. The silver chain, crossbody strap, as well as the top handles. The corners look pretty good. The bottom is pretty clean. This is a nice bag. A little bit up here on these handles, it's kind of dirty. So I don't know if I can clean that off. I will try to, but if it doesn't come off easily, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. And let's check the inside. It is also gray. It has this little thing to put your keys on and a few pockets. It is Michael Michael Kors, but I don't find that that really affects the value too much when reselling them. So that's okay with me. We have more stuff in the pockets. We have a Speedy Rewards. I'm guessing, is this some kind of gas station? Speedy Rewards. Okay, what else? Another Speedy Rewards. I really was hoping it was cash. And then we have a Star and Shield. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. This is from 2016, effective date. Florida Automobile Insurance Identification Card <laughs> from a 2015 Volvo, so. Ow. I think I just stabbed myself a little bit. I had the knife out from opening the box and I dropped it and then for some dumb reason I tried to catch it. Okay, anything else in the pockets? Okay, nothing else. So this bag is from Florida. Okay, so Michael Kors Gray. I like this bag, it's a little bit dirty on these parts of the handles. I'll try to clean it up, but overall it's in good condition. So let's get out of the last one, which looks like a large Dunienberg, I'm assuming vintage tote. It's like a tan and brown canvas with these little, little leather, um, I don't even know what you wanna call those. I guess they can tighten it up. It has a snap closure. Here's the bottom and the back. Everything is looking pretty good. Um, the inside, this is really big. So this would be great for like travel or I don't know if it'd be good in the beach. Okay, there's something else sharp in here. I mean, what even is this? What is that? <laughs> it's like this little, I don't even know what. Wow, this is like dangerous. Anything else in here? You're stabbing yourself? Yeah, stabbing myself. And then I found this thing in the purse, whatever this is. It's like a staple. I don't know. Anyway, this looks really clean the inside. I was trying to say that it's really big. It's got some interior pockets, a little zipper pouch there, and then the Dooney like tag is way down inside here. Just trust me, it's right there. So again, nice. So recap, we have the big Dooney tote and the Michael Kors gray like diamond pattern purse, Michael Kors blue little wallet, the vintage Dooney and Burke. As I was pulling it out, I felt like it looked blue, but now I think it looks black. Blue or black? My shirt is black. Hmm, I don't know. I'll get some opinions on that. And then this case paint. So I'm really happy with this box. I feel like they are all in good condition. Even the vintage ones I think will do well because I think they're good styles. So I'm really excited. I probably will get these photographed and they'll probably go live while I'm on vacation. I just got my hair color, but I feel like there's like a weird bumpy spot right here. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am scheduling out listings to go out while I'm on vacation. So really excited about that to see if I can just continue to make some eBay sales while I'm gone. Poshmark's gonna have to go on vacation because I can't wait that long to ship, but eBay, I could just change my shipping and handling time. So that is what I'm going to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up on the way out if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.